I have a question for you. All right. Okay. So a funny thing happened on the way to my Twitter profile. God, that, I could have said that better. Well, anyway, I was on Twitter and uh, yesterday. And I, I guess the big controversy that happened with Twitch this past week was due to gambling and a specific streamer who essentially conned a bunch of his followers, mods, and other streamers to get money from them in order to gamble more, essentially, is what happened. This led to a bunch of streamers saying that they need that Twitch needed to get rid of gambling in itself off off of Twitch, essentially. It was Pokimane, Destiny, is XQC, oh, the Miskif was another one who yep. basically were saying, you know, they need to do this or else we're going to go on strike in, uh, on Christmas week. After that was said, that was yesterday. Today, Twitch made a statement uh, saying this. I'll read it in whole. Gambling content on Twitch has been a big topic of discussion in the community and something we have been actively reviewing since our last policy update in the area. Today, we want to update you on our plans. We will prohibit sharing links or referral codes to all sites that include slots, roulettes, or dice games. We've seen some people circumvent those rules and expose our community to potential harm. So we're making a policy update on October 18th to prohibit streaming of gambling sites that include slots, roulette, or dice games that aren't licensed in the U.S. or other jurisdictions that provide sufficient consumer protection. These sites will include stake.com, rollabit.com, dualbits.com, and Rub rubet.com. However, we may identify others as we move forward. We will continue to allow websites that focus on sports betting, fantasy sports, and poker. We'll share more specifics on the updates to our gambling policy, soon including the full policy language, to make sure everyone is clear on our new rules before they take effect on October 18th. Zero, my question is this. What did you think about the statement from Twitch regarding gambling on their site? And what did you feel about the 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 streamers who were about to strike because of this specific issue? Um, with regards to Twitch's statement on the whole thing, um, I did find the exceptions a bit funny that mm -hmm. um, they would they would still allow sports betting, fantasy sports, and poker. Because the first thing that I thought in my mind was, oh, Twitch partnership with the World Series of Poker. <laughs> <Bingo>. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. And, and I I put a tweet out there when these streamers were saying we're going to go on strike, basically saying y y you guys realize that this could be a potential big moneymaker for Twitch, that what you want probably isn't going to happen in, in this sense. And this statement confirms it to me pretty much because i don't i don't think these streamers were saying oh we gotta get rid of dice games what, what, what were the one dice games roulettes and sl maybe slots but i don't think they were really thinking about that specifically i think they were talking about betting poker and what was the other one that they were allowing uh, well, not fantasy, but betting fantasy and poker. Sports. Yes, fantasy yeah. sport, whatever. They were talking about, I think, about those two things, poker and sports betting, because those are big. Those are big money makers, and, and they are, and as always, they are also gambling. So if they turn around and say, oh, yeah, this is a victory, they don't... <laughs> If they turn around and go, oh, yeah, this is a clear victory. Uh, this is what we were asking for, and Twitch listened. Y you guys don't know shit, do you? <laughs> because here's the thing. If Twitch decides to lean into gambling, if they allow, let's say, DraftKings to have their own channel and to allow sports betting and parlays and odds and stuff like that on their and have shows regarding that on their service, that would make much more money than Hassan Piker, XQC, Pokimane, Amaranth, any of them. That would make more money uh, than any of them would, which would eventually lead to the corporatization 
of Twitch, where only brands and big money making, like what do you call it? Like it, it would it would lead to what's going on, on YouTube right now, where only authoritative sources get special treatment on YouTube. So that will is essentially what will happen with Twitch as well. So I think this was much less about the objectionability of of gambling. It was more of one of them realizing, oh shit, if this keeps happening, this could beat us and we could be irrelevant fairly quickly. What, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, um, it's uh, kind of funny um, uh, with the whole um, threats of strikes and things like that and everything, um, especially with um, big uh, big personalities like Pokimane and um, and the like, basically saying, hey, um, you guys need to talk about the whole gambling situation and either put a stop to it or put down some hard rules or we'll strike um, on on Christmas, because um, it's like you said. I mean, on one end, Twitch could just see that as a business opportunity and go, "Okay, well, great. Um, you you big streamers don't want to stream on Christmas Day because you want to protest on um, with regards to us doing uh, doing bad stuff with gambling stuff. Well, um, sucks to be you. It's going to be a, a gambling special for Christmas and just yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just um, uh, World Series of Poker uh, entry tournaments and sports betting um parlors showing off like sports bets going on or um some fantasy football nerd uh, talking about how he's got like four grand riding on some sort of christmas day game or something just just yeah i could totally see that um being a possible scenario yeah and I, then yeah. and then the 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 other side of the coin is just maybe maybe the the big stars like Pokimane and all those who are playing to protest, maybe and maybe when they see Twitch do this whole thing of, oh, you want to protest? Well, screw you guys. We're going to do a gambling special on, on Christmas uh, Christmas Day. Maybe they uh, the big stars turn around and go, oh, well, mm, uh, I guess I'll start talking to YouTube and see if YouTube wants to pay out my penalty and, you know, just poach me for talent. So, <laughs> and then that ends up not panning out well for Twitch because Twitch ends up losing um, top streaming talent just for sort of a small payday on the gambling end. Well, okay. That is a possibility of what could happen. I don't think um, Twitch would be that naked about it. I think, yes, they would probably they would probably highlight more gambling or sports betting you, uh, Twitch streamers. But what I think they would do is that to, to those people who are striking, they would say, okay, fine, we'll just highlight these other streamers. We'll, we'll just highlight, oh, this person that is usually got 50,000 and not 80,000, like these guys, we'll highlight them. And they'll get all of that. They'll get all of, of what XQC would have. Or, or they would get all of what Pokemon would have. And then suddenly, as months go by, huh? Pokimane is less and less on the top page. Huh, XQC isn't on the top page anymore. What gives? I wonder why. I think that is what... I think they would be a little more sneaky than that. And just be like, oh, so if that's what you're going to do, then, oh, you, you like these benefits? Not oh, too bad. There we go. Oh, this yeah. guy's getting big. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how that happened. I think that's, that is essentially what's going to happen. And and I'll, I'll give you one as well, Zero. If that turns around and Pokemon goes, fine, I'm going to YouTube, whatever. If what I think is going to happen happens, it's not going to matter if Pokemon goes to YouTube. Because if they start saying, well, wait a minute, if we just sponsor with all these corporate, these corporate brands and they do streams on our stuff and they start making the money that we need to get out of the red... Okay, bye, Pokimane. <laughs> it's like, bye, see ya. I can see that definitely happening. Isn't all the aren't all the the um? Didn't they get rid of exclusivity? Uh, pretty much in all of these uh, on all these contracts. I, I thought no. They, I mean, um, uh, 
I mean, there uh, there's still exclusivity deals and stuff like okay. that. So, um, especially uh, because I know there there have been some stars in recent years where their Twitch contracts finally came up, and they were just like, "Yeah, um, I don't really like Twitch anymore." So, by going to YouTube gaming or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll work out well for you. Look, I mean, YouTube is gaining a bigger foothold in streaming, but. Even I recognize that it's not as good as Twitch. So if these guys do end up doing that, it will probably hurt them more in the end. But on the other hand, like, this is an odd thing also to get bent out of shape over all of a sudden. Like, we've we've talked to somebody who also pretty much said, like, Twitch has bigger problems right now than gambling. Like, they have bigger problems than a, than an adult person who decided to do stupid things in order to feed his gambling addiction. Okay? You can't police what adults do. And I'm sorry, but I don't know how any of these people really survive in the real world when they're giving people they don't know $10,000, $50,000, hundred thousand dollars like uh, because their bank account got locked i mean first uh, maybe this is because i was in banking first off i would ask hold up how did your bank account get locked again like <laughs> wait w- what happened now like and if there's not like a good reason like oh fraud that's what happened like someone got into my account and uh, there was fraud in my account. They had to close the account. I have a new one, but I, I don't have a card or the account number yet to another couple of days. I need cash now. like, And then in three days' time, I'll pay you back. That is the thing that blows my freaking mind right now. I'm like, well, hold up a second now. <laughs> like, like, for my good friends, like, even borrowing, like, $100 is like, wait, 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 wait. What? A hundred? Why? What do you need a hundred dollars for? Wait, when am I getting my money back? Wait, what's going on? Like, you don't ask questions? You don't, like, try and decipher, like, huh, is something else going on here? Or are these guys that... How do I put this? Are they that close-minded? Not close-minded. Are they that... Okay. <laughs> All right, this is going to sound... Are they that dumb to not realize that... To not ask, why do you want so much money? Why is... Like, th- that didn't enter their brain at a certain point going, wait, that's weird. Why is he all of a sudden asked for $10,000 in cash? Like, that's weird. And I don't know this person. Yeah, I might have been in a stream or two with him. Or yeah, he may message me here and there, and he's a big Twitch streamer. I don't know this person. Why is he asking me for cash? And that's the other thing. This guy who did it was a big Twitch streamer. He could have gotten the money back, what? In like a month? Maybe two? Why did he need to borrow the money right away? Hello, guys. Wh- what happened here? Like, really? Like, uh, uh, go ahead, Zero. I'm sorry. I- I'm, I'm ramp. Um, I think, uh, yeah, just the fact that people would just be so willing to just drop that much cash on, on this streamer's gambling issue granted um i don't put the blame fully on them because um he he had some sort of sob story that he would tell people and everything Mm -hmm. so and it's human nature that you know just sob stories end up tugging at her heartstrings and you know um in some people's cases with this guy asking for you know just uh help with um help with some cash stuff People and people likely open their wallets for this guy. They're just like, "Yo, um, you seem like a legit dude. Sure, why the hell not?" But at the same time, it's just like that just floors me that you'd just be willing to just drop a ton of cash on this this streamer that you don't really quite know his story completely, mm-hmm. and you're only getting one side of the story. You don't know what the other angle of the story is, but you're more than willing to drop the cash on this guy. Right. That's a bit. That's a bit wild. <laughs> yeah. like, and, and let's not get it twisted. What the guy did was scummy. I don't care. Oh, if yeah, had, absolutely. Yes, he has a problem. I get it. But that doesn't negate the fact that what he did was scummy as hell. To ask fans 
mods who are pretty much your employees for what hundreds of dollars thousands of dollars is a scumbag move i don't care if you are having a problem okay hopefully you're able to pay these people back uh, that's the one thing i hope okay but i would but honestly the mods and the the fans should get paid back right away first and then the you the the streamers who decided the park a thousand or like what ten thousand dollars to him should wait it out for a little bit they should they should just honestly in my mind eat that cost at this point because if you're that stupid with your money okay if you're that stupid with your money you deserve to lose at this point granted again with the mods and the, the fans you shouldn't have done it either, and that was stupid. But this guy clearly manipulated you and used his uh, quote-unquote power as a streamer to manipulate you into doing it, and that was very, very wrong. I, and, oh, God. And this is just this whole thing just sounded like malding to me. Like, oh, my God, we got screwed, and we want to look as good as possible in this. So we're going to make a, a justified cause into saying, oh, we're going to we're going to write this wrong and hope it never happens again. Guys, if you weren't that stupid, it wouldn't have happened, period. So, yeah, I mean, look, if I'm if I am being uh, what's the word? If I'm being a bit of a dick about this, OK, which, OK. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm being a little bit of a dick about this. Fine. Call me a dick. I don't care at this point. But I've seen so many people fall for these scams before. And it, it just comes down to, uh, like, it, and, the, so, and most people I feel bad for because these are people that get scammed who don't really have the money to do it. But they feel in their hearts that they... They just have to because it's the good thing to do. And it's usually older people who are not good with their money who fall for this stuff. For these people who are like, what, million? some are maybe not millionaires, but they make a good amount of money. To be that stupid with their money and to do this is just like, good God. You're not doing this for a, a good reason. You're doing it to save face. That's, what it, that's why it really annoyed me to a certain extent about this it's it's just a messy situation all around but yeah it kind of to loop back to the twitch pr statement on it just it's kind of funny because it feels like a half-hearted effort um i know i was seeing some commentary online about this whole situation from some smaller streamers and stuff um on social media saying well you know that's great that twitch um uh, Twitch is getting attention brought to this whole um, promotion of uh, gambling on on its platform and everything, but um, Twitch still hasn't uh, fixed some of the other systemic issues that are going on with the platform too. And uh, to that, it's it's a bit of a fair point. Just um, it doesn't seem like uh, Twitch moves on anything that uh, affects just most smaller channels, but the minute that any of the major Twitch um, major Twitch stars start bitching and complaining. Twitch just rolls out the red carpet and just says, "Hey, well, we'll do a thing." But the uh, reason I feel that this effort is half-hearted is the carve-outs for um, sports betting, fantasy sports, and um, poker. Because right. that, yeah, just there, lo uh, there's lots of money to be made in 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 those avenues, and um, I can see some very unscrupulous. Um, uh, fantasy sports places, um, sports betting um, joints, and poker tournaments just kind of um, doing things in a very, very legally um, shaky manner just to kind of um, get get more eyes on, on what they're doing on, on Twitch versus just Twitch just saying, hey, we are allowing gambling content, but it's also going to be age-gated too. So. Right. And that is the thing they should have asked for. They they shouldn't have said ban gambling altogether because it wasn't going to happen. But age gate it would have been the compromise. That would have been the thing. Is, hey, at least age gate this stuff so kids don't watch this stuff. Then I would be like, okay, you got a point there. Fine, that sounds good. But let's not pretend they did this out of a 
a means of basically saying, oh, this is wrong and this must stop. No, these guys got screwed and got looked like idiots. And when that happens, they were saving face to say, this is a serious problem. We, we should do something about this. That's the only reason why they did it. And, and I'll bet any amount of money, if this becomes the meta, how much do you want to bet you'll see Pokimane doing poker at some point in six months saying like oh yeah you know it brings the views so here she is in, in, in like a cute sweater and and playing poker and talking to her chat how much do you want to bet that's gonna happen i mean maybe not pokemate i don't know but i can see one of these people going well that's the meta and that makes the money i'm doing it so what then like i don't buy the altruistic like uh, the altruistic lens that these people are claiming this to be. Like, I just don't. I think they realize, oh, this is very popular and this could hurt us. If they're smart, of course. I think this is where it came from. I don't think this is an altruism thing at all. What do you think? I just don't see much altruism to, uh, uh, to come out of this. I mean, um, they can put a veneer of altruism uh, on it, but it still doesn't eliminate the fact that just there's going to likely be just an undertow of gambling now that the carve outs have basically been officially named and essentially endorsed by Twitch to say the least. Mm. Yeah. So I just, I just potentially just see um, yet another gambling problem that will go out of control. And then, of course, uh, when it goes out of control, either you'll have the same streamers making making a rabble rousing out of out of the gambling situation that got us these carve outs then trying to make uh, make an altruistic stand going hey this gambling problem is once again out of control you need to do something or else we will do yet another boycott and yeah I, I hate being cynical about it, but yeah, just I just don't see this ending well. Just yeah. It just seems flowery on top, but yeah, I just do not see this ending well in whatever shape or form. Yeah, like this is, this is faux altruism, and it's going to blow up in their faces if they continue. Like if they, uh, Twitch essentially just gave them an out with the statement, but if they turn and go, mm -mm, not good enough, Guys, it's gonna have to be good enough because they ain't gonna let go of poker and online and and sports betting and fantasy sports. They're just not. They're big money makers. It would be a it would be foolish of Twitch to then say, "Okay, guys, even though you're not making us money, fine, we'll do what you say. None of this. Don't even. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I honestly think that um. If they press the issue enough, they might see themselves in a world of hurt. So enjoy the nice win that you have, guys. That's all you're going to get in this one. And if you're smart, I, I would drop it at this point. And maybe plan your exit for YouTube. Maybe do that. But thank you for listening to this podcast segment. The Capital Games podcast is done every week, and we post it on all your favorite podcast apps as well as segments on YouTube. If you want to listen to another segment, you can listen to a new one right there on the screen. We also do a movie podcast called the Capital Games Movie Club. If you'd like, you can go ahead and click on that and see all the movies that we have reviewed from that point. Thank you for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon.